Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Doodly to create a music lesson. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. A few weeks ago, we talked about some of the Doodly use cases for musicians. What if you're a music teacher or a tutor? Yes, you can use Doodly to help illustrate musical concepts. Today, we'll do just that by creating a Doodly video on the treble clef. The first step is to open Doodly and create a new project. I'm just going to use this as my opening sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and change my text up a little bit and we're just going to call it um, the treble clef. So let's get down to the meat of our lesson. So let's start a new scene here and let's import some graphics that I found on freepick.com. Now I'm just going to drag and drop my files into place and we're going to do a very simple lesson here. I am not a musician so take that as you will. My kids both play the trombone which is actually the bass clef so they'll tell me if I'm wrong but they're not as familiar with the treble clef as they are with the bass. So I'm just going to go ahead and place these where I believe they go. So our lesson today is going to be that every good boy does fine lesson. Okay, so I'm going to have these notes on each of the lines here. So this one, I don't need it to draw for three seconds. Okay, so one second is going to be sufficient for that. And then I'm going to copy and paste it multiple times. So, okay, so I've copied and pasted it using Control C or Command C, and that's to copy, and then Control or Command V to paste. Now let's move them into position. So let's make sure they're in the proper order. So this is my first one. Okay, this one's going to be my last one. So let's move that there. Let's go to my second to last. Third. Okay, so there's my second one. Okay, I'll have this already. Oh, no, you know, let's have it fade on. So you click that little pencil icon and you choose fade. Save and return. And then this one, our treble clef, I would like to draw it on. So again, pencil icon. And let's just start. and take your path. This red that you see is what's being revealed. So I can make this a little bit fatter, right? And this is how the hand is going to draw this. Now, I'm gonna do a new path. It's not gonna be quite as fat because I don't want to reveal these little things yet. So I'm gonna make this skinnier. So now I'm going to go with a slightly fatter one because I'll do the same with my music note. This one will be much easier. I'm just take a nice fat path. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Okay. So you get the idea. I don't like the hand doing the erasing. So go down here to video settings and erase mode, smart mode by default. I'm turning it off because I don't like it. So that will take care of that. This can be much faster fade, half a second. This does not need to take three seconds to draw on. And now let's take a look. So we just jump right in, okay? Now I do have a voiceover I need to do, and that's gonna kind of guide us a little bit as far as when we're gonna start explaining that every good boy does fine business, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put my cursor right about here, and I'm gonna right click and choose record audio. That way, my recording is going to come in right where my cursor is. When I'm ready to start talking, I'm going to hit this red button and start talking. When I'm done, I'm going to hit that red button again to stop. 
So here we go. The treble clef. Hi, today we're going to learn about the treble clef. The treble clef is a symbol that tells us which notes to play or sing higher in the musical scale. Okay, that's not my whole script and you notice I messed up here. So what I can do, I can either delete it and start over or if I liked the bulk of this, but not my little mess up, I can fix that. I'm going to do it right here and go to the edge and just clean that up. Now I'm going to move this whole thing down a bit. And now this is where I'm like, hi, this, we're going to have a lesson here. And then over here is the actual lesson. So I think timing wise, that's going to look pretty good. So let's go to show preview. So let's just take a quick look. So we'll, we'll bring in some background music for this intro. Hi, today we're going to learn about the treble clef. The treble clef is a symbol that tells us which notes to play or sing higher in the musical scale. So let's go ahead and add arrow pointing to the symbol. There's one I had imported a while back. So well, I drew it and imported it. Okay, so let's see. That's the symbol. So let's go ahead and just. So I've moved these up so that they come on right after the treble clef is drawn. So this arrow certainly doesn't need three seconds, right? One second is fine. And let's see if it's drawn. I believe it is. Yes, I already did the drawing paths, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and add the next section of our voiceover because that's going to guide us as we go. As you can see, the notes on the treble clef start with E followed by G, B, D, and F. One way to remember this, so now we're gonna go into labeling these, every good boy does fine. E, G, B, D, F. So let's tighten this up a little, because you notice I have dead air. I'm gonna close these gaps. Go to show preview. You can just jump in. So which notes to play or sing? higher in the musical scale. As you can see, the notes on the treble clef start with E, followed by... Okay, so I haven't yet gotten to the point where I'm labeling this E. So I need to move this down just a little bit more and get that E worked in. And I need a bigger font that's gonna show up. Let's try this one. Let's change its color. Now the music teacher is going to go on to explain this a little bit more. So while she's doing that, let's draw on an image of a good boy. I just typed in boy. We have some different ones. Let's see. Let's use him. Every good boy does fine. And he's cute. So Maybe he'll be memorable to them as well. And then let's add some time at the end. Then you can continue building your lesson just like this. If I recall, we have some more letters for the spaces, right? For the notes that go in these spaces. And then one last little thing I might do is on these notes here, I'm going to click the little gear icon and I I think I am going to turn their opacity down just like I did on the other. And I think that just helps my letters stand out a little bit more. Okay, so I think that gives you an idea of how to build out your scenes. You would continue, you'd explain what F-A-C-E means, and then maybe at the very end of your lesson, let's add one more scene here, we can add our logo and information about our next lesson. So let's get our logo in here. Click on props, the blue and white plus sign, and then just drag and drop your logo in. And then whatever it is you want to type. Maybe this is a free lesson to give people an idea of your teaching style. And I'm just gonna fade it on. You couldn't go through and do drawing paths on your own. Yeah, last week we did a video on how to do your logos. So I'm not going to go over that today. 
finally, let's add some background music. So click your Sounds tab, Categories, Music, and I'm just going to pick something. I'm going to turn the volume way, way down because I do have a voiceover. And then I'm going to clip it here at the end just by doing this. And then right clicking to fade out. My slow fade. I like to add about seven to ten seconds at the end so the screen stays on so that they can do what they need to do. Let's take a quick look and then we'll be done, keeping in mind that we didn't really complete the middle part of the video. Hi, today we're going to learn about the treble clef. The treble clef is a symbol that tells us which notes to play or sing higher in the musical scale. As you can see, the notes on the treble clef start with E, followed by G, B, D, and F. One way to remember this is to use a mnemonic device like, every good boy does fine. Each letter corresponds to the name of a note, and the phrase serves as a memory trigger to help you remember the order of the notes on the treble clef. Pretend that we completed this scene, okay? And then here's our ending. And there you have it, another way that musicians can use doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.